now bar opened up in that room in the 1940s called the Cavern Tavern. Now the Cavern Tavern had three moonshine stills and three dance floors. Also, people could come down here and drink three times as much as they could on the surface and still not fill the beds. So they think they're getting sold bad liquor and storm back up those steps and eventually pass out, take out taking out everyone behind them. So here at the Lost Sea, we said that the higher they got, the higher they got. Also, up in that room was about a 90 foot pit. Uh, and, uh, and, and Explorer came down here uh, in the 1940s and explored that pit and he found the remains of a place to see jaguars. Now, those remains were sent up to the National History Museum in New York, but we still have a replica of his head and paw print in the glass showcase in the main lobby today. Also, this cow was still alive today and be about 8 feet long and weigh about up to 500 pounds. Also, back in the 1950s, we started as a fallout shelter in case of any national disasters. <laughs> about 20,000 people for two weeks. But we did have a majority of those supplies removed because we had no use for them. But we still have some remaining down here today. And that's what you guys can see right back here. Now all that's in those tin boxes and jugs is a couple gallons of water and some old saltine crackers that probably wouldn't taste very good today. But guys, for this next part, I will be turning off the lights. So if you have anything that emits light, such as a cell phone or a flashlight, please just turn off the lights. Devil's hole. Yeah. Okay, right away. It's literally just a hole. Supposedly this is the baby Grand Canyon right here. <laughs> Pretty cool. We're way behind. We gotta catch up. So the cur apparently this cave used to be called the Craighead Cave. Didn't even know that till today. So after a successful trip in the Lost Sea, 
We didn't lose anybody. We are heading to where? Going to Knoxville. Knoxville. See you there, Johnny. actually on foot now as you can see us heading across this bridge not a place I want to live way too busy for me but pretty cool though as you can see the surrounding area just nothing that I would consider awesome that's for sure Got all the way over there and they, they're closed on Saturday and Sunday. So don't come here on Saturday and Sunday, guys, because you will not get in there. You will stand in the cold and you will absolutely not get in there. So there it is. Anyway, off to the next spot. All right, so we are at a place that I've only been once and I'm going to show you what it is. What is it? Crystal meth. No. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be enough to piss some fat man off. I'm just letting you know. We're going to try it anyway. Keto starts very shortly. All right, Emma, what is your opinion on them? Gross, don't go there. Why? Freaking onions, and they smell like onions. What are they supposed to smell like? Not onions. Well, I probably won't ever come back here again. They're good, but way too much bread and not enough meat. And that sounded pretty homo, but it's okay. Alright, Captain Jim's is a positive. Here it is, I'm gonna show you one more time. Alright, that's it. This is gonna be the end of the night. We're going back to swim. Obviously, I'm not gonna record that, so we'll see you on the next day.